Hey guys, it's Eric. Today I'm going to be bringing you a special review of the Hollister One Piece appliance with Sarah Plus. Let's get started. So as some of you may recall, I did a review on the Premiere One Piece from Hollister not too long ago. Now, it was a fairly standard One Piece system. Um, it came in transparent, it came in opaque, it had a filter, it didn't have a filter, they had many options available. But there were a few features on there that I didn't really like, a few things that I would have liked to have seen, and they seem to all be bundled up in this new product by Hollister. Now just to clarify, depending on the country that you live in, uh, these may or may not be available. I know that when I'm uh, looking at products on the Hollister website, I actually can't find this one yet, although I can buy it in Canada and it's not an issue, so it may be a very new product. And uh, if it's not available in your country, it may be coming soon. So just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to give you a rundown of some of the features that this pouch has. Um, it's got some pretty unique ones that are new to Hollister and also some ones that I think that some people would really appreciate. Now to get started we'll look at the front of the appliance. The front of the appliance is very simple. I mean it's the classic Hollister style. If I compare it here to the uh, Premier One Piece uh, without Sarah Plus, this is their standard Premier One Piece, you can see they're very similar. Now one distinct difference that you'll notice here, and you can't actually see what it is until you do something special, but this one here uh, now comes with an inspection window. And inspection windows, if you guys have seen some of my other reviews, I really love them, especially on One Piece systems. They have many advantages. Uh, for example, when you're putting on a One Piece, that has a, an opaque covering to it. It's very difficult to actually align it and make sure that your one piece is actually fitting okay. So having an inspection window will help with that. Another thing that I like to do, and maybe it's just curiosity or what, I actually like to see what's inside my pouch. I like to see my stoma. I like to see what's happening um, with my output. I wanna see if there's maybe gas in there or if there's actually output. And an inspection window gives me the opportun opportunity to do that while also having an opaque cover on there in case I also want to have some concealment. Now, I tend to wear my pouches uh, usually in a pouch cover or in some kind of support garment, so that really doesn't matter to me, but I know a lot of people out there who aren't wearing those accessories will really appreciate that. Now, out of the box, you're gonna notice that the inspection window is actually closed. It's, it's, it's actually sealed. So if you wanna use it exactly like the old Premiere, you can, but if you do want to uh, make use of that feature all you basically have to do is tear the perforated edge here and now it's an inspection window and you can go ahead and use that as you normally would with any other inspection window so as with other Hollister products I tend to be very harsh on the fabric that's being used and it's no different with this particular product here Hollister tends to use very thin cheap fabric material and one of the problems that I have with that is a uh, it's pretty easy to see through it. So when you have output in there, especially if the pouch is wet, you're going to notice that output. That's something that I don't really like. But also it tends to fall apart, come apart, fray, and all that sort of thing uh, as you wear it. So if you're wearing your appliance for, let's say, more than three days, you're going to really notice that. But one key part where the, the actual fabric really fails is on the outlet part here that you actually... Uh, tuck in and I'll show you that in a second. You'll notice that this pouch here does have a filter. Uh, I'm not actually sure what options Hollister will have in the future. Right now this is the product that I'm using and it's the uh, 8901. So this one will have the opaque cover with an inse inspection window and it has the uh, filter on there. This is also a cut to fit. So they may have pre-cut in the future, I don't know. They may have the already available and it's just not listed. They may have filterless options, I would imagine, just like with their other Premier products. So if it's not yet available, they may actually be coming out with these in time. But the, you know, the cloth material, it's really not the best. Um, I much prefer some of the other brands out there, uh, the Colaplast Sensor Amios, for example, or even the Bibron Flexima One Piece has a much, much better uh, fabric on there. The, you know, they don't fall apart and they, you know, they do the job. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more as far as the opaqueness of this particular pouch, but I'm gonna actually turn my attention now to the back. 
As with the other Premier product, the other Premier One Piece, the back features a really huge size wafer. Now, for some people, this may actually be a problem, while in other cases, it may actually be a benefit. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a cut to fit. This will accommodate sizes up to 64 millimeters. For this size of wafer, that's actually a small size considering some of the other products like the Bibron Flexima can go up to 70 millimeters in a smaller footprint. So um, that's something to consider if you do have a really large stoma. Uh, most people that have an ileostomy won't have to ever worry about that. Most colostomates probably won't even have to worry about that, but it, it can go up to 64 mil. Now I mentioned the size. If you have a small frame, the size may actually be a little bothersome to you because it does feel large when it's on your skin. It also can, because of the size, it may also interfere, for example, with any incision wounds that you may have. And I know that when I had my surgery, that was a challenge that I had with certain appliances. Some of the wafers were just too big. And a lot of the times I ended up having to cut it or find smaller appliances and, and stuff like that. It got kind of annoying. But I know historically, Hollister tends to only have the one large size wafer for the one piece, and it's kind of like a one size fits all. Now on the upside, having a large footprint like that helps to give the pouch more support. So as it fills up, there's obviously more surface area attached to your skin, and that will help to support the pouch. So that's actually a very positive thing. Now in my experience when I'm wearing this, and I've been wearing uh, this appliance for many weeks now, I find that, you know, when you first put it on, it, you do feel the size, but then as the day goes on, you really don't notice it anymore. So it's not that big of a deal. Now, the size may be an issue if you're using a support garment, for example, like a stealth belt, and you have one already sized up for an appropriately sized two-piece. Unfortunately, even if you're cutting the wafer smaller, it's still going to have a very large area around where the, the flange usually would be on a two-piece. So some of those um, support garments and accessories may not fit as well on this. You may have to actually go with a much larger size to accommodate that. Now, one of the unique things about this wafer is the fact that Hollister infuses what they call Ceramide. That's what gives the brand or the branding uh, Sarah Plus. Now, Ceramide is a compound found naturally in human skin, and Hollister's infused it into the wafer with the aims of helping to prevent dryness. Now, I'll be honest, it's kind of ironic. I find that my skin tends to be a little dry when I'm using this. Now, that doesn't affect the adhesive properties at all, and I'll get to that in a second. But for some people that do have normally dry skin, especially when they're removing their appliance, this might be something that will help them. I know that Hollister's had clinical trials where they've had patients um, wear these, and they said that they've, their skin has looked better at the end, and I believe them uh, based on my own experience. Now, just to talk about the opaqueness of this pouch, I wanna just quickly compare it here to the uh, standard Premier product. Now you'll notice here when we're talking about the outlets, both outlets look very similar. They both function the same way. So you're going to roll it back and then you're going to snap this in place. Uh, that's the same on, on both appliances. That's pretty standard for Hollister and that works really well. Now the one thing that I will note, and this kind of becomes a bother and I'll explain a little bit more in depth why it becomes a bother because it kind of ties into this cheap fabric material. But you'll notice here on the other Premier product, the outlet is actually opaque as well. So this plastic here is opaque. That means that no matter what, even if this is rolled up, you're not going to see your output through here. Not so with the newer one piece. Um, and you know what? I know that I've complained about opening these outlets on previous Hollister product reviews, it is no different on this one here. I still find that it's difficult to open out of the box. What I tend to do is when I put a new appliance on, I'll crease it and then that way it'll make it easier to open the next time. So keep that in mind. But uh, I, I don't want to go off track here, but you'll notice here that the outlet is actually clear. Now in some cases that might be beneficial if you go to you know, clean the inside of your outlet the way I do. So I'll roll up some toilet paper and I'll kind of stick it in and I'll clean on the inside. That helps to see whether or not I've cleaned it properly. But on a downside, you can actually see the output regardless of where it is. 
Now, normally I wouldn't say that this is a problem, but I'll show you here in a second. When you roll this up, and it can be rolled up, which is really nice. If it were to stay like this, okay, there's not too much of a problem. You don't really see the output other than the fact that, you know, the fabric is not as opaque as it should be, but you won't see the output here. The problem now ends up being because the material is so cheap, after a while, it'll start to develop frays here. It'll start to come apart. And then this no longer stays up. It basically dangles down. And what happens is when it's dangling down, you see your output, basically that last inch of the appliance. And most people won't like that. Another thing I do want to mention is uh, the actual inspection window here. It, it, it meets with the rest of the pouch. And unfortunately, I don't think that's the best design. I would much prefer the bottom fabric to be under and the top to be overlaying it. And one of the reasons for that is as your pouch fills, and as you're moving around and, you know, the material kind of starts to get worn, uh, you'll notice here that a lot of the times you'll notice the output and the brown color kind of in between here. So it doesn't really look that nice. And for anyone who knows, you know, that that's an awesome appliance and they're looking at that, they're, they're going to think, wow, that looks really bad. Okay. And I, I personally, when I'm looking in the mirror and I'm seeing that and I'm seeing the output here in the bottom, it just, I know it could be better. So I'm just, I want to mention that. Now, as far as wear time goes, I was actually really, really pleasantly surprised by this product. Now, I've worn Sarah Plus two-piece wafers in the past, and I've had kind of mixed results with them. Now, I think one of the reasons why I wasn't having the best of luck in the past wearing Sarah Plus was the fact that I was shaving in a totally different way. So I would actually be shaving traditionally with an electric razor around my stoma, and I've since changed that to tweezing and epilating. I'll cover that in another video, but essentially I don't get the same ingrown hairs as I used to. I don't get the same follicle inflammation that I used to. Um, and I absolutely did not notice any of that happening with this. Now, what really surprised me is this appliance far exceeded my average three to four day wear. I've been able to wear this consistently four, five, even six days. Uh, I didn't really push it past six days because really after the third day, after the second day, uh, the fabric just falls apart and it just became way too much of an annoyance for me. The filter will eventually clog and, you know, it just came time to change it. But the appliance itself held out really well. My skin looks probably better than it ever has, which is amazing. And I haven't experienced any leaks uh, whatsoever with this appliance. It works. It, to me, it works. It works well. And, um, you know, if I didn't like some of the other things about it, I would probably say this would be my go-to for a one piece. It might still be a go-to for me because it does have so many of these other features. Uh, the filter, and I'll talk about that, uh, the filter does work very well for me. In my past video, I've actually had a video about what to do with those little filter stickers that tend to come in the boxes of your appliances. Hollister doesn't include filter stickers, and that's for a specific reason. You'll notice here on their filter, there's this like white membrane covering. Now that's kind of on the outside. Uh, the inside is just going to be, uh, it's going to be kind of this, it'll look the same as this, but that membrane actually allows gas to pass through, but it won't allow water and oils and whatnot to go through it. So a bonus thing for that is the fact that you don't really have to wear a sticker on that filter. Um, I've had multiple showers wearing the same appliance filter will still work assuming it hasn't been clogged from the inside which tends to happen anyway with most filters now i will say that this filter tends to be uh, pretty consistent for me it tends to work quite well and you know after two or three days it ends up clogging eventually most filters will uh, sometimes even sooner than that but it does work quite well now i have been wearing and i'm currently wearing this appliance uh, horizontally right now it works pretty well and i say pretty well because i tend to find one piece systems a little awkward uh, when i'm wearing them sideways i find that this particular appliance doesn't have a long enough outlet where i can easily aim it down so there's a little more fiddling with it uh, obviously when i'm wearing the hollister two-piece or most other two-piece systems i can angle it down and that's something that you can't do with this once it's in the 
a horizontal position and that's just because it's a one-piece system and that's kind of one of the uh, cons about wearing a one-piece system. I'm really happy to see that Hollister does have a cutting guide for the stoma here. They also include a stoma measuring guide if I could find it. Uh, they do include one of these. Now the one that they include is paper. Not the best choice, but you know what? You're going to get one in every single box, so you can kind of change that out. And it does have all the regular size stomas. Now, it doesn't have anything for oval shaped stomas or any other kind of measuring tools on the side, like I've seen with other brands, but it's good enough. Hollister also includes disposal bags um, in their boxes. The disposal bags I personally find to be a little small, so I can't really hang it off my waist or anything like that, like I normally would when I'm changing an appliance. But I'm glad that they've added it in there and, you know, they work and they're convenient. But onto this cutting guide. The cutting guide is easy to read. Um, it's in the center of the appliance and it works well. This particular wafer has a release liner on the back. Now the release liner, once you remove it, it actually exposes adhesive on uh, the center part here, but there's also these paper tabs that you can hold on to, and these are secondary release liners. Those paper tabs come in actually really handy, especially when you're using a one piece that's this large, because it can help to guide um, your appliance towards your skin without actually touching the adhesive. For most people, if you start touching the adhesive, uh, it's not going to stick as well in those areas. A lot of the oils on our skin kind of interfere with that, and you kind of lose that tackiness once you start touching it. But it's a great idea to have this second release liner here. And what happens is once you put this on your skin, what I tend to do is I'll hold it in place on my skin, and then that's when I'll release one at a time and then make sure that the tops and bottoms are okay. Now this fabric, um, I, I've gone on about how cheap it is, how it falls apart and whatnot. In showers, it tends to soak up a lot of water. So I find that it takes a little longer to dry this appliance than it does some other appliances. It's not a big deal for most people. Um, and some people might even wear a shower apron to protect water from hitting it. That's totally fine, but it is something that I've noticed and it is a little worse than what I've seen in other products. Now this wafer does have a tape border. I find the tape borders to work very well. They're not super thick at all. They're actually really, really thin as you can see here. And it really conforms nicely to my body. I don't find that the tape border wrinkles at all or anything like that, which is something I tend to see with hydrocolloid wafers, which tend to be a little thicker. But I will say that on this particular one, and I and I don't know why exactly it's happening, I am getting some edge peeling. And that's not something that I usually experience with Hollister products. Now it can be essentially because the wafer is so large, it's trying to stick onto skin that's not used to adhesive. So perhaps given time, maybe multiple months or whatnot, maybe my skin will work better with the adhesive. But I did notice that it absolutely does not interfere with the wear of the product. No water was getting in it. It wasn't causing leaks. It wasn't doing anything like that. To me, it was just more of a little uh, annoyance. And something like a wafer extender would help the issue if it becomes problematic. Uh, the tape border on here and the wafer itself does hold out quite well in showers. And uh, if you're a swimmer and you're wearing this appliance, I don't think you'll have any trouble with the appliance staying on, especially considering the size of the wafer and the surface area that it's, uh, that it's sticking onto you with. So overall, I would, I would have to say I'm pretty happy with this appliance. I get long wear times. My skin looks great. It's got a couple of really nice features, including the filter that works for me and that inspection window, which I really appreciate. And some of the annoyances as far as opening the outlet or the cheap fabric material, I can kind of overlook because the rest of the package works so well. So this is a one piece appliance that I would recommend. If you're used to other Hollister products and you haven't tried their Sarah Plus, I would try it out, especially if you've had issues with dry skin or sensitive skin in the past, this might be something that could help you. But keep in mind that it does take a few wears to actually um, 
adjust to the new appliance. And I know for some people, if you're just trying it out one time and it doesn't work for you, or you have some kind of uh, reaction or poor wear time, they tend to give up. And that's not something you want to do with an appliance like this, especially because it's a uh, newer technology. Give your skin at least two or three uh, wears with that appliance. And then hopefully by then it would have adjusted and hopefully you'll have the same kind of luck and experience that I have. So I hope you guys have liked the review. If you've tried this product out, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your feedback. But until next time, I'll see you in the next review. Take care.